Hello all. So people have been asking me to do this guide for about a year now, but it required a ton of work and so I kept putting it off. Regardless, it's finally out, and I hope you enjoy. Smithing is the first profession you should focus on. To complete smithing, buy a pickaxe in St. Paul and mine some ore from Western Cave across the river. Then smelt it into iron ingots to get Novus. Then make cannonballs until you complete Apprentice. Then make Charleston Carbines to complete Adept, Expert, and Master Smithing. Charleston Carbines give the most XP per ingot, so once you've unlocked them, make Carbines exclusively until you get to Master. Mining will increase in tandem with your smithing grind because you have to mine the ores to smith the ores. But if for some reason you want to get it done separately, Mine iron until you can mine copper, then mine copper until you can mine silver, then mine silver until you can mine wolfram, then mine wolfram until you can mine gold, then mine gold until you're at master. All of the aforementioned ores can be found in Western Cave, although there is more gold in the Den Cave and in the Lower Cavern on Ellesmere. With hunting, you get XP for every animal you skin. Start out by getting a knife and skinning dead rabbits you kill in James Bay. This will unlock Novus. Then go down by the water near Old Fort and skin some foxes until you get to Apprentice. Then go to Plains of Abraham and repeatedly skin the deer until you get to Adept. Then go to Henry's Hill where two wolves spawn and kill and skin a bunch of wolves until you get to Expert. Then go to the moose spawn between St. Paul and Home of the Spirits where a singular moose spawns. Kill and skin it about 250 times. Ah, and then you'll have Master Hunting. To speed this process up, I recommend firstly to server hop, and secondly to use a longbow with metal arrows, because longbows are the best hunting weapons. With leatherworking, you get XP from crafting your pelts into clothing and equipment at the tanning rack. First, make munition pouches out of rabbit pelts until you reach Novus. Then make fox scarves out of fox pelts until you reach Apprentice. Then make fur kilts out of deer pelts until you reach Adept. Then make medium fur cloaks out of wolf pelts until you reach Expert. And then finally, make bed rolls out of moose pelts until you reach Master. Keep in mind that you'll need to make roughly 300 bed rolls before you get to Master. Woodcutting is pretty much the same as mining. Cut down pine trees until you can cut down maple trees. Then cut down those until you can cut down birch. Then cut down birch until you can cut down mahogany. Then cut down mahogany until you can cut down rosewood. And then continue cutting rosewood trees until you've got master. With woodworking, you can simply take the logs from the trees you cut down and turn them into planks. In this way, wood cutting and woodworking increase in tandem. So while you're cutting down birch trees to get wood cutting XP, Turn these birch logs into planks for woodworking XP. Keep in mind, though, that this is a slow method. If you want an alternative way to get woodworking, you could craft short bows to get apprentice, then long bows to get adept, then snowshoes to get expert, and then finally cannon wheels to get master. Fishing is the worst profession to grind, by far. If you want to complete fishing, I recommend doing it last and buying yourself a superior fishing rod beforehand. Oh, and get worms. Get a lot of worms. With fishing, you get XP for every fish you catch. You're most commonly going to catch rainbow trout until you complete Adept. Once you complete Adept, you will begin catching northern pike as well. Both rainbow trout and northern pike spawn everywhere across the map. There are other types of fish in Northwind, but you won't be getting the majority of your XP from them because they're such rare catches. You'll be getting the majority of your fishing XP from pike and trout, even if you're fishing in a spot where the other types of fish spawn. That being said, you will still gain more experience if you catch these rare fish, so here's a fishing map. Fishing is very linear, just like woodcutting and mining. Every level unlocks new fish that you are now able to catch. Just to temper expectations, you will have to catch upwards of 2,000 fish before reaching the master level. This will take something like 24 hours in total, so strap in. Cooking is the easiest profession to grind in the game. All it takes is money, a couple hours, and some server hopping. Everything you need to master cooking is sold in the St. Paul Cooking Store. Because the cooking store only has a limited supply of items for sale, 
there are no specific recommendations for what foods to make first. You'll be cooking whatever you can. Simply make as many of the highest level foods as possible with as little cooking ingredients as possible. Back when I was mastering this profession, I remember making a lot of raw sausages and stews for apprentice, meatloaf, tarts and pies for adept, croissants and more tarts and pies for expert, and then pastry dough, tarts, pies, croissants, bangers and mash, and stews for master. The building profession is going to be removed in the next update, and all this stuff is going to be buildable by everyone, so I don't recommend grinding it unless you have to. But if you feel the need to regardless, here is what I suggest. First, build and remove campfires to complete both novice and apprentice building. Then buy a hammer and handsaw from the stores in JB, and equip the handsaw and go outside safe zone. Turn your logs into planks with a sawing bench, and then use the handsaw to build wooden foundations. Then use your axe to chop those foundations down. Do this until you complete adept building. Once you complete adept, add wooden floors to your foundations as well as the triangle wall pieces. Now continuously build and remove the triangle wall pieces just like you did with the foundations. Sometimes you'll encounter a building bug where you cannot build at all, or your builds appear in like the wrong places. In which case, destroy the entire structure and start again from the foundations. The actual fix for this glitch is too complicated to explain here, so just restart. You get XP either way. Thank you all for watching. It goes without saying that most, if not all, of these profession grinds are helped by server hopping. However, in the next update, the devs are planning to remove server hopping, so I recommend getting the harder professions done now. If you're a new player and have Northwind questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments section. And then lastly, I plan on updating outdated guides and creating new ones on the features that Northwind's release update will bring, but only after that comes out. So stay tuned, there's more coming, both from Northwind and from me.